Good day, welcome to my workshop. My name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. Today on the agenda, butter knives, okay? All made from wood. Now they sometimes refer to as Swedish butter knives. Um, and I think it's a very interesting project that it's easy to make for a beginner woodworker, especially if you've got a bouncer like I do. Although you can make this project with just hand tools as well. Obviously, I've got a bandsaw, so that's what I'm going to be using primarily, and a sander as well. Now, I do have some uh, resin castings as well, which I'm going to cut and have and see if there's anything I can utilize as a handle for these. However, the typical Swedish butter knife is actually made of 100% from wood. So we're going to give it a bit of a different spin if we can. Now, the biggest wow factor to this project is given by the wood selection itself. So if you are very lucky and you do have really nice piece of timber, like I do, for example, this spalted beech, um, looks absolutely fantastic. But yes, I'm gonna draw some designs on these pieces and we're gonna start cutting them out. First of all, we're gonna turn our attention to this spalted beach as I think it will be absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna try to utilize as much as possible of those features of the piece I've got. Um, so I'm just cutting it to the right sizes. And after that, we're gonna try to draw a design on the piece and we'll cut it out. After many trials, I managed to draw something like this. Uh, so it's very similar to the most common design of these types of knives. I was trying to capture as much as the features of the wood as well. Now at the top, I'm just gonna uh, draw more or less the line to which I'm gonna cut on my bandsaw. Now do not throw the off cuts, we're going to put it together, it, that way it's just going to be a lot easier to cut out the rest of the shape of our knife. And now I can cut out the shape of the knife. This one is from the um, Australian Burrell. I think that's gonna look really, really cool when you apply the finish to it. So in the same process, I've cut out a few pieces I had lying about in my workshop. So that is dark ash. Look at the pattern. The grain should look really, really cool. And I've got two pieces of walnut, American walnut, that we're gonna bunch together like that. And that's gonna be our handle. So I'm gonna apply some glue, glue it together. And after that, we're gonna be cutting out the shape of the knife. Now I have prepared two more options with those resin blocks I've showed you before. So I've got a piece of walnut, that's gonna be our blade. And I've got these two pieces, they will become the handle hopefully. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quickly show you how they potentially gonna look. So uh, I think if everything's gonna go fine, um, the result of the handle will be really, really cool. And for the other one, that's white ash, I'm gonna be using as the blade. And I've got these two pieces, I'm gonna glue on as the handle. I think uh, they will look pretty cool as well, okay? I'm gonna be using five minute epoxy to glue these on. And now, as the glue dries, in the meantime, I'm actually gonna do two bases for the butter itself. Uh, I think it will be a nice company to a butter knife, and it will just create a nice whole package, 
perfect for a gift or maybe a product that you can sell on Etsy. Okay, so I want to have two bases. I'm going to utilize this walnut um, board I've got and I want to have one of them to be with a tile. I think that's going to look really, really cool. So I'm going to recess the tile in the piece of walnut. I'm going to cut probably about one centimeter over uh, the tile. And that's going to, as I said, that's going to be recessed inside of the walnut. That's going to look really, really cool. At least that's what I think. And the other one, <laughs> we actually had a whole set for butter, okay? So we had the uh, glass bottom, however that broke, and I've got just this glass top. And I want to utilize that as well. So I'm gonna cut a piece of walnut like that. However, I want to recess just slightly, probably about, I don't know, three, four millimeters into the walnut, uh, the frame just around here. So that will go into the walnut uh, again, I think that's going to look pretty damn cool. So I've got a few templates for my router. So uh, yeah, let's start cutting this out. Now to make this happen, I'm going to use double-sided tape to tape the pattern onto the piece of walnut. And on my router bit, I'm going to be using this um, router bit with a bush guide just over here. Um, so yeah, easy peasy, let's get to it. Right, and with the routing done, I'm now going to cut everything out to the correct sizes and shapes. And after that, we're going to head to my router table. We're going to give a nice chamfer to both of the trays and a slight randover as well. Now it's time to do a bit of sanding with those bases. Right then, let's apply some finish to these. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna be using mineral oil, leave it for a few minutes uh, for it to dry. Then I'm gonna wipe off the excess. And after that, I'm gonna finish it off with a blend of wax and wood oil, um, just to give it a nice protection uh, from the outer elements. Well, let's add the finishing touches. And I think these came out absolutely gorgeous. The tile in the walnut looks absolutely superb. Okay, so they came out quite all right. I went with uh, different designs. Uh, so hopefully uh, they will all look very, very cool and unique. I like this one. I think, uh, this particular one, the uh, walnut one, that's going to look pretty damn good, I think. What we'll see. Uh, and this one as well, you know, the uh, walnut handle with the dark ash front, I think that's going to look pretty cool. Uh, plus the other two I've got, I think they're going to look uh, quite, quite unique. Now, the boring part comes in, where I'm going to be using my bell sander pin sander and I'm also going to try uh, to use my Dremel tool as well just to give them the final shape and after that um, after the shaping bit we're going to be just sanding them especially the resin that's going to go to a couple of thousand of grit and um, to have really nice look to it so yeah for me it's at least half a day of sanding for you fortunately just a few seconds.
Now, did I mention this is a very long, tedious and boring process? Okay, at the moment I'm at grid 320 and for all the only wooden knives, that will be it, okay? And uh, the two other knives that um, do have some resin in them, I'm gonna go probably right up to eight, maybe 9,000 grit, but just for the part with the resin, not the wood itself. However, now, as you can see, uh, I've just been using a wet rag to damp all the pieces, all the knives, and that will allow me to raise the grain. And after that, I'm gonna do sanding again. Um, I'm gonna start a little bit lower this time from 250 and work up my way to 320. I'm gonna repeat this process about two or three times. Okay, and now it's time to apply the first stage of the finish, which is mineral oil. After that, we'll be applying a blend of uh, wood oil and some wax. But first of all, will allow for the wood to soak in, in the mineral oil, will wipe the excess, and after that we'll be applying uh, the wax blend. Right then, let's do a knife presentation so you can have a better look how they end up looking. Look at the grain on this, absolutely stunning. Australian burl, lovely. Dark ash and walnut. I think that came out quite interesting as well. Nice pattern here really cool knife beautiful next spalted beach look at that the pattern on here is absolutely stunning and it's one of a kind okay look at that superb and now the resin knives okay this is the walnut with the resin handle and uh, that's Australian burl as well. That's um, the silver you can see in there. That's aluminium honeycomb. Just a little bit, just an off cut. I think that uh, came out really, really interesting as well. That's from the other side. Very unique piece. Super cool. And the last but not least, Again, that's the handle is resin and Australian burl, and this is just out of this world. Look at that, looks like a galaxy or something. And the other side, also very interesting, beautiful. And that's white ash, super cool, I have to say. Now, let me know which of the knives you prefer the most, which one you liked the most. I'm super curious to find out which one piqued your interest. And there you go, guys. The project has come to an end. Obviously, you know, if you've got an interesting piece of wood or offcut in your workshop, you can turn it into some amazing things. And, you know, I had a few of them lying about, so I decided to make these butter knives. And they will be absolutely perfect for some gifts for my family. So, uh, and I do actually like the stand, um, utilizing what I had left after the uh, uh, butter tray. And plus the one with the tile, black tile, I think that looks really, really cool. And um, that's going to look absolutely stunning in my kitchen. So you can see you can combine different materials like the tile and wood and come up with something really unique. And that will look absolutely fabulous as well. However, that's it from me today, guys. Drop me that big like button down below if you enjoyed today's project. And don't forget to subscribe if you've never seen my channel before. Also, if you like projects like these or uh, maybe around the workshop upgrades and jigs, I've got really cool playlists just over here so you can go and click those. And I'll see you on those videos there. Take care.